What's going on, people, man? We're back here. with another video, man, back on the PlayStation 4. Got another how-to video, man, how to improve your internet connection on the PlayStation 4. Now, this fan is loud. I say, oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. That should be a lot better. So, how do you simply get better internet connection with this method? Well, it's actually very simple, very easy to do. There are three possible methods to help you guys out. One is get a better internet connection. What I mean by that is either by calling your uh, cable provider and telling them that you need better internet. Um, and that's really it, or just changing, it doesn't matter. It's, it's one of the methods. That's what I'm going to do tomorrow. I'm going to call my internet pro uh, cable provider. Call at and tell I need better <laughs> Wi-Fi. This is not good enough. Uh, it's good enough, but it's not good enough for PlayStation Now. Uh, so now I want to play, but it's not good enough. But <clears throat> the second method is Ethernet. You're probably wondering, oh, well, well, what if I have Ethernet? Well, for people who don't use Ethernet, it is 10 times better than Wi-Fi. So I recommend that. It's very, very cheap. If you're so far away from the, your uh, router, just invest in a longer cord. It's not really that cheap. And also depends on which router you, uh, Wi-Fi, I mean, Ethernet cord you have. So it all depends. You get a cheap-ass one, not going to be as good. But get an Ethernet cord. It is better than Wi-Fi. Now, the last method is very, very simple and it's very, very easy. When you boot up and go to your network, you want to go to set internet connection. If you're using Wi-Fi, using Wi-Fi, using uh, Ethernet, this is all, it works both ways, so it really doesn't matter. So whatever one you pick, pick that. Go to custom. Let it load up, go to automatic, go to uh, do not specify. And this is where this is the most important part is the DNS settings. Now, I'll provide a screenshot for you guys right now of all the best possible settings, right? Uh, DNS servers that you can use that are public. Obviously, there's probably more, but these are the best ones to use. This one works best for me, even though I use automatic a lot. But this one seemed to give me the best connection is 8.8.8.8. Secondary DNS server is 8.8.4.4. So, if it all depends on you guys which one to use, so this screenshot will be right here for you guys. I personally recommend using that, then hit next, or hit automatic, then I use and test internet connection. This may work for some, may not, either may improve your internet connection, may make it worse, or it may stay the same. You just gotta keep testing out. If none of them don't work, then you might just have to just get a whole, just, just improve your router or something like that. It, it all just really depends on what it is any questions please let me know in the comment section down below i don't mind asking or some of your fellow youtube community people will probably answer some questions for you guys if i don't have time to do it so hope you guys have a blessed day see you later i'm out peace